game because that's what I love and that's what we talk about when we're dealing with the quarterbacks. But when you're dealing with San Francisco, you have to start with the run game because everything comes off of that and where they're really, really good is in the play action game, is making everything look like their run, making all their runs, try to make them look alike, especially up front with their offensive line and then countering that with a number of different plays. That's what we're gonna take a look at today. Okay, so here we go. Everything off of the outside zone. You'll notice here, we're in a two-back set. They do this outside zone out of a lot of different looks. They do it a lot of different ways. So what you're gonna see and what we mean by outside zone is you simply just mean it is a hard reach by all of these guys. We are trying to get our running back outside by sealing everybody. So we're going to ask our uh, wide receivers, which they do a lot in San Francisco, we're going to ask them to block. They're going to have to block the point of attack. We're going to reach athletic offensive linemen. We're going to get outside. We're going to clean it up here with our fullback, and we're going to try to get this outside. They're going to get the defense or try to get the defense to go lateral all the time and to move out of their zones, and that's where they get so much success in their passing game. So it starts here, we're gonna lead, we're gonna clean this up. We miss at the point of attack, but we're gonna clean that up with our fullback. Make these guys run through and make the tackle. Got a chance here, but speed, and because you're going so far lateral, misses that tackle. Nice job there by Mostert with the stiff arm. But this is what they're going to try to do. That's kind of a base two back look at the outside zone. All right, here's another look at him. We'll go to motion, just bring our guys. So we'll use our offensive lineman, or I'm sorry, we'll use our... Okay, so next look. Now we've got a single back. We're gonna use our wide receiver across, and we're gonna put him on the backside. So he's gonna end up being in this position, so he just has to step down, cut off the backside, which allows all of our guys to the front side, once again, to hard reach as we try to get outside. Here, we're gonna do it off of a toss. Now we toss, all the movement is the same. We're trying to reach, and you see, just hat outside, hat outside, hat outside, hat outside. We're trying to do that across the board to get outside in hopes that our running back can get all the way out here. But the biggest thing is even if you can't, it's stretch, 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 get these guys moving, one cut, and go. His dad made this popular back in the 90s, Denver Bronco teams, Terrell Davis and company, just outside zone, one after another, hit it with speed, one cut and go. Back to a two back set right here. Once again, now we're gonna toss it, we're gonna get him started to allow the fullback to get out in front, but you see the hard reach, tough blocks. We got a great tight end that can do these things. You got George Kittle out here, so he's got a hard reach outside, but he's trying to get outside, trying to get outside, get these guys moving sideways. We're pulling, we're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching. We've got our fullback to insert in here and find the hole and cut, boop. And now you see it. You see the movement, right? Linebacker movement. Safety movement, backside safety movement. Everybody's moving because we gotta get out there and cut off these holes and we gotta make sure that we force this into the bodies. But that happens, boom, nice little cutback and now you got your huge play and this is how they get you. We are gonna run outside zone. We are gonna run outside zone. We are gonna run outside zone. Whoop, then we'll cut it back. Then we'll play action you. We're gonna get you moving lateral and then we're gonna take advantage of that across the board in one way or another. In this case, boop, is with the cutback by the running back and a nice little pickup there. Okay, so now what do we do? We had the cutback there, now we're gonna set it up. Now we're gonna bring, same look, bring our uh, right receiver back here to cut off, right? This particular case, he's gonna step down to cut off. Nope, he's going to 
roll back to the other side, we're going to, you see, offensive lineman pulling, hard reach, looks like we're running the outside zone, outside zone, we're going to play action it, we're going to get these guys moving, as we bring this guy back, we're going to widen, boom, you'll see the big holes that are created in the play action game, movement, movement, hold this guy with our receiver coming back, this is where the design becomes so good. Offensive line, running back, make it look like run. Now we're going to wrap back, get our wide receiver out here to hold this backside guy. Movement here, huge windows to throw into as a quarterback when you're running the football and you can run the play action game, turn, throw, great design. Kyle Shanahan makes it easy. All right, now we're going to give... Same look, reach look back to the other side, come back with the play action, so we're going to get you going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going error, okay, now we've got the play action, so we're going to get you guys, okay, once you recognize that, get out, get out, get out, get back, got to respect the run, then you got to get back into the pass, Boop. now we're going to drop it off to our great tight end with just a little tight end screen set up here, and all this space. Right, you see it. Watch, hold, hold, hold. Out, 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 move. That's the only guy left that we have to block. Now we've got a great situation here. Easy little play design. Once again, Kyle Shanahan, everything coming off the run game, and now we've got easy opportunities for our quarterback. Here we go again. Now we're going to add a little ghost to it. So now we've got the hard reach. Boom. Outside zone. Outside zone. Outside zone. Instead of the wide receiver, we're going to bring our tight end back here to wrap back to the backside. Then we're going to run the ghost here as well. So you've got to respect all of this stuff. Offensive line going one direction. A lot of times we're reading the fullback if we're a linebacker. Oh, he's coming back the other direction. Oh, wait a sec. Now we've got a receiver coming back that direction too where they could flip it to him. They could run a reverse off of this or they could come out of this and run a play action. So now we've got all these keys and all these movements by the offense where you got to respect it. You got to hold. This guy's moving because he's coming back with this. Now we're going to go get ourselves another easy opportunity on the second level off of the play action, making it easy on the quarterback to get another chunk play because of all the movement and everything once again looking the same and a lot of different bells and whistles that go with it. Here comes our receiver again. Now we got a ghost again. We just saw this, right? We saw this before. It was the play action. It was the wrap and it was the ghost. And then we ran our play action down the field. Uh, we're going to give you that same exact look here. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to use our ghost wide receiver. He's going to stop. He's going to come back here and catch the screen. Our running back's going to fake the run over here. Then he's going to be a lead blocker along with our offensive line on the screen to that side. You can see why it is so tough with all these different keys to be able to pick up on what they're doing. Nice job here by the Rams. To hold true to it, Jalen Ramsey coming up to make a nice play there. But you see all kinds of different things, right? The last play, they ran this play fake, and they got this deep over off of the play action. Make everything look the same. Boom. Throw it back here to your ghost runner on the backside for a screen. These are the play designs. This is what everybody talks about when they talk about Kyle Shanahan. Starts with the run game, leads into the play action game. This is where they're extremely strong each and every week as long as they're able to run the football. All right, now we'll bring, that's Brandon Ayuk, their young guy. Now we're bringing him into the backfield. Now we're going to send him on a little similar type ghost motion, saint motion right there. We're going to run the outside zone, run the outside zone, run the outside zone, and now We've got the little bubble off of here where we can read this backside guy. This guy stays out here. We've got the number count to be able to block it. This guy comes inside, holds inside. 
Now off of the outside zone, just pop it, get it outside to your playmaker. Let's go block them. Let's go get ourselves a first down. But once again, everything off of the outside zone, hard movement by your offensive line to get the defense going lateral. Here we go again, start them across, bring them back. What are we going to do? Now we've got the same idea where you could possibly throw it. Now we're going to start the outside zone and then we're going to bring the wrap back here, right? We got these guys to widen because last time we threw this, bring the tight end back to seal this. We're going to start and we are going to wrap back to the backside with everything looking the same, just having a nice little counter play to be able to cut back to the other side. If we can just get up to the linebacker there, not able to do it. Good job making that tackle by Kaiser. But you just continue to see it. Everything is built off of the same sort of stuff. All right, check this one out. We're going to move George Kittle back into the backfield like we've seen a couple times. Now we're going to get him started. Now what are we going to do? Now we're basically going to run similar type thing here. We're going to actually pin this so it's kind of like a toss sweep. We're going to pin this one, but then everybody else is moving to run outside zone. We're going to use George Kittle to lead out here and we're going to toss this and we are going to once again try to get outside, pin you, reach, use our offensive lineman to move lateral, get you moving lateral, one cut, boom, go. And this is where they get their big plays that keep on you doing this over and over and over again out of different looks, getting you going sideways and then taking advantage of you from there. Okay, now we're going to bring our back back this way. Now we're going to bring Debo Samuel coming. So now what? Right, we just saw this before. Looked similar, but George Kittle was leading. Now we're going to bring our back, Mostert back here. We're going to run, guess what? Yep, the outside zone. We're going to look, make it look like a jet sweep. We're going to hand it to Debo Samuel. We're going to have a lead guy here. But all it is, once again, is the outside zone just Dressing it up a little bit. Different guys getting it, getting lead backs out there. Debo Samuel, big time change of pace guy for us. Great with the ball in his hands. Setting up a touchdown right here all off the outside zone. Now we're doing it off of a jet sweep. Okay, so of course, off of the jet sweep. Now we've got to have some sort of play action. So now we've got all this stuff going. Get Debo over there, Whoop. we're going to go here, what's it do? It moves these guys, so with that, as I said, outside zone, although this is a straight play action, we're trying to get the movement, making it look the same, so now we're going to get an easy play action look right here because of all this movement, the jet sweeps, using our wide receivers over and over again for movement, there's another easy opportunity for the quarterback, Jimmy G, just missed or dropped right here, but that should easily be a completion with that window because of all the window dressing and how they get you going lateral with just about everything that they do. And that's what leads into their passing game and specifically the play action passing game. So there you have it. That is the San Francisco offense in a nutshell. You notice I didn't show a lot of drop back pass game. They're not great in the drop back pass game because that's not what they major in. They major in what we saw right there. They want to run the football with all kinds of different formations, all kinds of different personnel groups. They want to give everybody the football, not just their running backs. They'll get it to their tight ends. They'll get it to their receivers, even in the run game or the short passing game. That's where they want to live and they want to make it easy on their quarterback by designing easy play actions off of their run game. That is where they excel when they get away from that. That's when they start to struggle. When they have to base everything off of a drop back game, that's where Jimmy G has struggled. That's where this offense has struggled. And so that's what you have to pay attention to next year. When they got to the Super Bowl a couple years ago, it was all about running the football and play action. When they had to get away from that late in the game against Kansas City drop back, they weren't nearly as successful. So that's what I got my eye on this year. A, can they run the football like they did two years ago? If they can, Man, it's going to be a wrap and just in terms of their success offensively because they will have great play action off of it. Can people stop the run game for the 49ers 
force them to become a drop back game. And then is it Jimmy G? Is it Trey Lance? Can those guys thrive and carry that team in the drop back game? That's what I want to see.